day 62, and it's a project day, we're going to build a piece of software to keep our private thoughts secret from the rest of the world. Yes, you're going to build your own private diary. Okay, you're going to use your knowledge of time and the ReplitDB library to build a private diary program for you. You're going to start by prompting the user to type in a password, which is a password you will have set. If they don't get the password right, exit the program. If they get it right, let them into the main menu where they, they can either add a new diary entry or view previous diary entries. When adding a diary entry, you're going to prompt the user to type their diary entry and you're going to save that in the database using a timestamp as a key. You might want to store that as just a text entry or you could store it as a dictionary to store a bit more information about it if you'd like. When you select view, you're going to show the user the previous entry and they can either choose to see the next previous entry, so going back one in time, starting with the most recent entry and working your way back through them until they get to the end. There should be an option for them to exit that though. Build it if you need help. Don't forget there is a solution video that you can watch with me building through the solution. But if you don't want to jump straight to the answer, there are places you can go for help. Ask.replit.com forum has a hundred days of code section where you can go and ask questions about individual projects. You can join me live for Replit 101 coding helpline every other Wednesday where we can get the solution solved live. Or you could use our Discord where you can ask the very friendly people in our community for a little bit of help. When you're done, publish it in our community and use the hashtag replit 100 days of code to show people your individual private diary. Tomorrow, you'll be collecting all the best functions you've ever done and using multiple Python files to create your own library.